in today class i will explain about uh, linear probing in nashville then why use linear probing then first you should know that what is collisions the collisions are nothing but two or more keys are mapped to the same index location then collision occurs to resolve the collisions we should use the collision resolution techniques one is called separate chaining the second method is called the open addressing the open addressing is divided into three categories one is called as linear probing the second one is quadratic probing the third one is double hashing in today class we will discuss only linear probing concept to res to resolve the collisions we will see then what is linear probing see here the linear probing in linear probing the hash table is searched sequentially that starts from the original location of the hash then how do you find out the next free slot in the hash table by using the linear probing you can see over here there is a formula for it to resolve the collisions whenever you are map to the index location then the collision occurs then how to find out the next empty free slot in the hash table then you can use it there is a key place i if it is a first probe the i value becomes 1 if it is the second probe i value becomes 2 if it is third probe i value becomes 3 and so on then i given i given the some example over here see if it is full whenever you finding the index location by using the hash key then if it is not free if it is occupied with some data then we can try for the next empty slot in the hash table then hash of x plus 1 then if it is also full then we can try for the hash of x plus 2 next empty free slot then if it is also full then we can try for the next empty free slot in the hash table okay this is the way we can find out next free slot in the hash table okay this is called sequentially searching for the free empty slot in the hash table got my point okay this is the theoretical concept about the linear probing then how do you solve the problem of linear probing we will see in the next slide the problem has been given what are the keys uh, which will be stored in the hash table and then keys 13 16 11 10 then what is the hash table size has been given over here then 5 then how do you store these elements in the hash table okay this is the array has been initially the array has been initialized from 0 to 0 1 2 3 4 the array of 0 array of 1 array of 2 array of 3 array of 4 then once you are mapping these keys to the index location where the values would be stored okay these keys are also called as the data then we will see in the next slide then 13 what is the data is 13 then keys how do you find out the index location for the key 13 then data modulus operator size then data is 13 modulus operator the size has been given as a 5 Then thirteen modulus five. Then what is the remainder we got? The remainder would be three. Then at index location three, here it is index location three. Then thirteen has to be placed. At this time, no collision occurs because no collision. Okay, there is no uh, data is occupied. It is a free slot. Directly we can insert thirteen in the hash table at index location three. There is no problem. then we are moving to the next slide then i will insert one into the hash table then here what is the value key value would be one the modulus 5 then what is the remainder one that at index location one because it is also free slot then we could able to store data one into the hash table there is no problem no collision occurs then we move to the next one the sixth i would like to store the key value 6 into the hash table 
then what is happening over here? Then six module has five. What is the remainder? One. The remainder would be one. At index location one, the data is already acquired. Then collision occurs. Then if collision occurs to resolve this collision, then we need to find out the next empty free slot in the hash table by using the linear probing. Then what is the parable has been given already? Then key plus i, then modulus size. The i value would be 1, 2, 3, so on. Then what is the key value? We got already 1. 1 plus, it is the first probe. That's why i value would be 1. 1 plus 1, then modulus 5. Then what is here? The 2 modulus 5, then what is the remainder? Would be 2. Then at index location 2, see here, the index location 2 is a free slot. It is a free, okay. That's why we could able to store data six at index location two, okay. Because one is occupied, the two is occupied, then three is occupied, okay. Then in the first probe itself, we got the free empty free slot in the hash table. That's why we stored element six at index two. Then I would like to store eleven into the hash table. See here. 11 modulus 5, and then what is the remainder we got? The remainder would be 1. Okay, remainder would be 1. Then at index location 1, already the data is occupied, the collision occurs. Then we can try for the next empty slot. Then key plus i modulus size, then i value would be 1 because 2 modulus 5, the remainder would be 2. At index location 2 is also, data is already occupied. Then we try for next empty free slot in the hash table. Then 2, now i value becomes 2 because it is the second probe. Then i value will be considered as a 2, 1 plus 2. Then 3 modulus 5, what is the remainder would be 3. At index location 3, it is also already occupied with some data. Then we can try for the next empty free slot in the hash table. Then now the pro value would be 3, then 1 plus 3, then here 4 modulus 5, then remainder would be 4. That's why the index location 4 was free. That's why the 11 has to be placed at index location 4. See here. Now we got the free slot in the hash table, then 11 would be placed in the hash table. Then 13, 1, 6, 11 has placed in the hash table. Then 10, the remaining key value would be 10. Then 10 modulus 5. Then what is the remainder? 0. At index location 0, then we got free slot. Free slot, that's why we could able to store the data 10 at index location 0. Then all elements has to be placed. When you try to insert another element, no possible to insert because all element has to be placed at index 0 to 4. If any element has to be placed, there is no possible to insert. Okay, we can increase the size of the hash table. Okay, this is the way we could able to insert all the element into the hash table by using the linear probing. Then if collision occurs, then how do you find out the next free slot in the hash table by using the linear probing, then plus 1 can be added. Okay, first probe plus 1 can be added, second probe 2 will be added, third probe 3 will be added, like that the same procedure will be continue until we can find out the next empty free slot in the hash table. What is the disadvantage of the linear probing is that then primary clustering. The many consecutive elements form a groups. Then it starts taking time to find a free slot or such an element in the hash table. Okay, if the list is very small, there is no problem. We can able to find out the next empty free slot in the hash table. But the list is the data size because the data size would be large. Then it takes time to find the next empty free slot in the hash table. Got more point? Then thank you. Thank you all for watching my videos. For any queries regarding this concept, please post your query in the comment box window.
i will rectify it thank you thank you all